Hello, this is Secret Peanut, and welcome to another episode of my Let's Play Seven Days to Die. This is Alpha 14 point something, and today we are in Spillway Lake. Um, I'm interested to see Spillway Lake because um, they said in the patch notes that the uh, water is a lot deeper and um, on random gen I was one of these people that like to make boats and things so um, I'm just scouting out the area to see whether I can build one of my boats see whether it's uh, water's deep enough for me to actually do that so the first thing we notice is there is a new building in the middle of the lake um, which is a bit different it looks kind of like a dock so we're going to have a little swim over and see, Christ the water's deep we're going to have a little swim over and see whether we can get access to this building, see if there's anything in there uh, looks like there's a ladder there um, which we can climb up <laughs> or not as the case may be um, there must be a way up here perhaps building another ladder might work um, or we could do my old trick of getting some wood and building some frames because that used to work so we're just going to have a little swim over to shore watching out for zombies and things as we um, go along. It's going to be night time soon so I think I'm going to have to spend the night um, inside this building if I can actually get into it. Um, so I don't have any wood. So um, I could make a metal ladder. So I'm going to do that and I make myself a metal ladder and see whether I can attach the ladder to the ladder that's already there and see whether I can get up that way. Um, not sure if I'll be able to. But it's worth a try. So, you have to be careful when you're in the water because um, you will eventually drown if you go under for long enough. And you also get cold and wet, which is quite deadly also. I mean, um, this um, biome is actually sort of fairly neutral. So can I attach this uh, ladder to the other ladder there? Can I do that? Uh, doesn't look like I can. Uh, try maybe flipping it. No, this isn't going to work I don't think. Could try flipping it around I guess. That's kind of not working either. Um, okay, I might have to uh, come up with another idea. Um, one of the other ways I used to get up onto um, with my boats that I used to make is I used to build uh, ramps and things um, because you can jump onto ramps or you used to be able to. So let's see if there's another way up. Uh, there's another ladder here. Um, I think the water's too deep. There's also a, a Jesus impersonating rabbit over there walking on water. So it doesn't look like we're going to be able to uh, get this ladder on here. So I'm persevering, trying as I might, and it's not happening. Oh dear. So I think. I think the best thing to do will be to, because time's getting on now, I think the best thing to do will be to swim back to shore here and gather some wood up and see whether I can get on the building using frames. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and chop down some trees now and gather up some wood and make those frames that I said about. Um, I'm going to need some uh, ramp frames and some wood frames um, try and um, 
don't know whether I can get down to the surface or whether I or whether these blocks will actually float. I don't know what. I haven't actually tried building one of these boats since Alpha 11, I think. Um, and then uh, I kind of lost interest in the game because Alpha 13 was very buggy. Uh, nobody was really playing Nav's game. Um, and I liked Nav's game. I was playing Random Gen, but the Random Gen kind of seemed to be very buggy. And I kind of got the ump when on our server, for some unknown reason, it del decided to delete everything that I'd done. So hours and hours of gameplay was just like gone. <laughs> So here we are. We're swimming over. We've made some. Uh, we've made making some uh, wooden frames. Um, it's a long way down there. So let's see if we can we can attach it to this somehow. Whether it will float or whatever. Okay. So it does. Gonna perhaps add some more. Can't get onto it that way. So we're gonna need a ramp frame. To cancel that, make a couple of ramp frames before I drowned. <laughs> okay, so gonna attach that to that, and then that, and then there, and then going to put some ramp frames next to it and see if I can get on so uh, nope so if you keep on jumping if you keep jump 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 and eventually you will get on to the frame there we go we're on ha up yours game so here we are then let's get our um, tools out oh what are these let's see so this is kind of very basic but could be could be could be good to to hide from hordes and things unless they uh, are down in the water and uh, break down the pillars so these are shotgun messiah crates with uh, gun parts in um, if there's anything interesting in these so we've got some gun parts and some uh, fairly low quality gun parts so just gonna oh wow that's a bit glitchy <laughs> okay so magnum part I'm gonna break him up picked up a bone a couple of a bone there and some rotten meat which we're gonna chuck away oh so we can't get out of this door there's a bit of a glitch um but I could and I am going to break this door down and see whether I can get out onto the uh, other side that way um, so the uh, metal and the wood make different noises so wood you knock down with an axe and obviously you know the metal you do with a pickaxe so there we are we're out onto the uh, the outside of this building now just gonna there's not seems to be another building over there which we can go and check out in the morning but I think for now we're gonna need to um, think about spending the night here maybe reinforcing some of the walls and things just in case the zombies get up and get to us um, nothing in the trash. So, gonna check that that building out in the morning, like I say. Um, so best thing to do, pick up the wood frames. That's quite a cool effect, kind of a waterfall kind of sort of effect. That's quite cool. It's even got the sound effects to go with it. That's pretty awesome. Wow. <laughs> So anyway, it's 8 o'clock in the evening and I think it's now time to actually let's get this, this guy down the bottom here see because you know he might 
summon some of his friends, so we'll see if we can get him down the bottom here. Um, have I got him? Let's see if he come a bit closer to me. Gosh. Have I got you? I think I have. Or is there another one down there? I don't know, I don't think so. So, we've just picked up the uh, hammer schematic, which we're going to learn. We're going to scrap all the things in the inventory that we're not likely to use. I don't have the, um, the recipes for some of these guns. I think I've only got the recipe for the shotgun, and the shotgun's my favourite gun anyway, so I probably won't make any of the others. I don't know, we'll see. So, inside we go. Gonna pop my meat inside that crate um, so I don't smell, and then um, close this door. Pop down some wood frames. Uh, scrap the stuff I don't need in my inventory. Pop down some wood frames, I think and then wait patiently until the morning um, so a few cabins over there to to do the original cabin, there's a campfire in one and I think there might be a gun safe in the, one of the other ones um, so okay um, A flaming barrel over there. But, uh, that's also um, I've turned like this into sort of a docking area. So it's nearly 9 p.m. We're gonna go inside now. And um, oh god, glitchiness. Um, and then kind of undetected at the moment. So we're gonna build some. Well, we're gonna put down our wood frames sensed at the moment, not quite sure why. Put down some wood frames and um, cover up this doorway. And I think do a little bit more reinforcing. Um, and then I guess sit and wait until morning I suppose and see see what happens so um, so yeah I think that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna sit tight wait until morning um, and if anything happens in the meantime I shall um, come back and show you guys what's going on but if nothing happens I shall see you guys in the morning
so it's now morning um, nothing happened overnight so we're gonna go take a swim over to the shore and um, see what's in this little building over here um, see what's in here watch out for the zombies on the way because there's some in the water so always keep your wits about you um, I can hear zombies um, so there's definitely some around here they are okay so we need to keep our distance we've only got a bow um, keep a distance and take these down um, one by one very quickly well probably won't be very quickly loot their bodies and stuff um, gosh. So I think uh, in the last alpha, alpha 13, they changed uh, the way the zombies look. So they actually look quite gruesome now. Um, so we're just kind of dodging zombies at the moment. Um, and just have to keep on moving. Make sure there's none behind, in front and stuff. Because, you know, we don't want to end up dying and ending up going back to base. So, normally a shot will take them down and then you, if when they're on the floor, you um, have to hit them again and, uh, and then obviously you'll get your, um, a bonus for doing that. That was a very dramatic um, death. Okay, so she's down. We've got a few more to do. So there's a great there's a patch of coal there which I'm going to get in a minute. You'll find uh, coal deposits above ground, and I don't know whether they put in the ores underground um, again. Um, things like potassium nitrate seem to be a little bit sparse. Uh, there's only sort of three or four caves on Navsgain, and that's where you get the uh, potassium nitrate and the coal and all the ores from. So unless they've post put the things underground, I don't know, I'll have to ask on one of the discussion boards. So, um, okay, so once you've cleared the area of the zombies, that's what we've done. I'm going to loot their bodies, see if there's anything interesting. Uh, eat the food, because I'm starving apparently. Um, and I'll loot their bodies. I'll go back and grab that coal in a moment. Right, let's go see what's around here. So we've got oil barrels. Uh, this door's locked. Um, but I think it's more of an effort to actually go in through the actual door. So I think we'll probably, I don't know take the metal out around the outside with the pickaxe instead. Um, so that's a good tip for you. Um, you can do that. Uh, which makes it easier. You also get a little bit of scrap iron for for breaking these blocks as well. So we've got a cooler, some blueberries, corpse. Oh, he's got a treasure map on him. Taylor's Taylor's treasure map. So we'll uh, have a look at that in a minute and try and find Taylor's treasure. If there's any more loot to be had. Uh, breaking the corpses will give you bones which can be used for glue. Um, and yeah, so... Um, let's have a look at this treasure map. Dear survivor, if you're reading this note, well, this has probably happened, and the uh, uh, rather than let all my uh, so we've got to go and find his stash. Um, so this will now appear on the uh, map as a quest, 
and there we go it's it's in this area here so we set ourselves a quick waypoint we can go and see if we can grab that treasure so I'm gonna go and see if we can find this treasure now just following the uh, following the, the waypoint that's been set for me um, I should imagine it's probably underground um, lots of cotton flowers and golden mods here and things lots of zombies as well hit her with my stone axe I mean stupid my my nailed bat or whatever it's called so coming up in front of us now is a ranger station um, they have gun safes and things inside sometimes they house a forge uh, sometimes not um, so uh, the treasure is around here somewhere um, so we're more than likely going to have to dig for it um, and we're probably going to have to dig out a big area so um, the treasure is around in this area here somewhere so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the video and come back when I have found the treasure So we found the spot now, I'm just going to dig and keep on digging. So I've been digging for a long time and I have finally found the treasure. So we've got some schematics and a herbal antibiotics recipe. So yeah, good find and I've also got another treasure map which is Taylor's which I can do all over again. So. Uh, that brings me to the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like the Facebook page, follow on Twitter, share the video with your friends. And if you want to play the game with me, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Ta-da for now.